Hey, what's up guys, SK here, and today we have a super fast three-day growth event that's going to be starting on Wednesday. And what this event's going to do is going to give us a light and dark selection ticket starting on Wednesday. Thursday it's going to give us a bunch of materials to go ahead and power up that light and dark monster. And then Friday it's going to give us the rest of the materials so we can awaken that monster to Awakening 5. Now, it's only going to give us the stuff to Awakening 5, but we're going to go ahead and go over the units that you can use as light and dark selection ticket for if you don't have them already. The light and dark selection ticket is really only good for two monsters i want to say personally for me it's only good for two monsters if you're going for um progression as well as having a versatile set of monsters to help with um burning down bosses and you know running content at a speedy pace now the one the one unit i'm going to say that is kind of useful is going to be tion tion does have is um a three-star reviver that um you can level up fairly easily uh, there is another three star reviver that you can get, which is I believe the Light Pixies are a three star reviver as well. But um, I would honestly go with Tion over anything because Tion acts like Konomiya and has the uh, the second skill that increases the uh, I mean decreases the skill cooldown of their party members. But that's not the unit I'm going to suggest that you get. The unit I'm going to suggest that you get is going to be the Dark Harpy. Sorry, I went all the way down to four stars because so I was thinking Dark Hard. But Dark Harpy is going to be the unit I suggest 100% that you get um, when it comes to when it comes to dealing with uh, this the selection ticket. And the reason I say that is because of her skill three specific or skill two specifically. Um, so her skill two is going to make it to where that she attacks the target and deals and applies defense down and damage taken up. And then additionally, when the skill is linked, she's going to deal that two more times. So. When you have her as your link monster, she's going to attack three times and have a chance to apply defense down and damage taken up to the enemy. And that makes it to where you'll be able to deal a lot more damage to um, your bosses when you're running your raids and your, um, and of course now your hero on um, your hero areas. She's going to make it to where you can take down those things a lot faster, make runs a lot faster, skip a lot of phases when it comes to bosses, to be honest. And she pairs well with other units. Um, Especially she pairs well with a unit like Croa. If you have Croa, Croa's a beast monster. I've already done a video on Croa. Go ahead and check it out on the channel. Croa applies attack speed up, crit um crit rate up, and precision up. You just makes your team move a lot faster. Um, but the main focus right now is the Dark Harpy Helia. Once again, this is the unit that you're gonna want to get 100 percent Um, if you have already, it doesn't hurt to pump her all the way up. So um, the next awakening level, just getting an extra copy of her for the next awakening level. She's an easy, easy unit to skill up. Um, she's honestly just a really great monster. I'm gonna get, like I said, I'm personally I'm gonna get another copy of her so I can get her to the next awakening level. I've only had I think one extra copy of her so far, and that was from the um, the previous selection ticket where I got her originally from um, an unknown scroll, and I got her second form or second one of her from the selection ticket. I'm going to use this next selection ticket to get another one of her because she is just honestly the best unit in the game when it comes to applying uh, defense down and damage up. She's one of the only units in the game that applies those two consecutively on top of each other for such a quick, um, quick action as well as cheap cost. What you're going to want to build her as, however, is going to be um, you're going to build her to survive. Of course, she has to survive. So you're not going to build her attack, um, attack her damage attack like you normally would um, a unit like this. Uh, you're gonna want to build her with HP, HP, and focus. So HP, 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 and accuracy, or just build a straight HP and just um have her with focus runes to max her um to max her, her accuracy to make sure she lands those hits. Um, personally, I would build her energy, energy, um energy, and then put HP, HP, accuracy as her as her um slot as her two four six slot. So it's gonna be HP percent, HP percent, and then accuracy percent, accuracy percent just to get her that full set of accuracy she needs to land those debuffs on those bosses. Unless you can get the substats that give you that, bo that boost in accuracy. Um, but you want her to land her stacks. You want her to land her stacks continuously so where your enemy is always at 9, 10 stacks all the time. So you just burn down the enemy consecutively throughout the, um, throughout the run that you're doing. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and get that video out so you guys could have information on what to do with that light and dark selection because a lot of people are going to be asking, what unit should I get? Which unit is going to be the best unit? And it's going to be Helia, 
Now, if you get Tion, I mean, that's up to you. I don't think he's a good unit to get because, like I said, all he does is revive. You're going to be able to get um, other units that revive throughout the game. Um, if you haven't yet, don't worry about it that much. Um, but if you are struggling and you need a reviver for whatever reason, get Tion. But once again, Helia is going to be better for your progression as well as your rating and everything. She's going to make life, your life a lot easier. Everyone's going to have a Helia after this um, event comes out. If they don't have a Helia, then they're the problem, really. They, they, they don't understand the dynamics of how the game runs. Um, so, yeah, pick Helia or suffer. Um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. It's Vanessa.